Hello, this is Christopher from Defeat Modernism, and welcome to the First Fighter Devotions of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the description box of this video or podcast, however you're, you're taking part in it, I'll put a link to a PDF file of the booklet of the promises of the Sacred Heart and the prayers that we'll be taking part in today. I ask you all please to pass this on, pass the devotion on, either this video or you know, perhaps the link to the prayers, uh, either I post it on your social media, email it to those who you think might be receptive to it, and either who, even those who you think might not be. You never know uh, in God's divine providence who might be touched or might need it at this particular moment in their life. And there are great promises attached to those who promote this devotion. So please take heed of that and, and act upon it. So now let's go to making a, an act of contrition. And each day we should be asking God for the grace to die with the perfect contrition for our sins and to worthy receive the last sacraments of the church. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. And now for the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For those of you who may not know, the devotion of the Sacred Heart was given to a religious sister in France, her name was uh, Margaret Mary Alacoque, and she was born in 1647 and died in 1690. And our Lord appeared to her and gave her this devotion, these revelations about his sacred heart. And this is one of the revelations that he made to her. He says, Behold this heart, which has so loved men that it has spared nothing, even to exhausting and consuming itself in order to testify to its love. And in return, I have I received from the greater part only in gratitude by their irreverence and sacrilege and by the coldness and contempt they have for me in this sacrament of love. I feel this more than all that I suffered during my passion. If only they would make me some return for my love. I should think but little of all I have done for them, and would wish, were it possible, to suffer still more. But the sole return they make for all my eagerness to do them good is to reject me and treat me with coldness. Do you at least console me by supplying for their ingratitude as far as you are able? And you can just hear the, his heart aching. He who loved man so much to suffer and die so brutally. So let us offer just this little token of gratitude, of love to his sacred heart. And please pray these prayers with me. And if you can, if you're able, pray them on your knees. If not, God understands your situation. But let us pray them with love with gratitude and with hope and trust in his love and in the mercy of his sacred heart. And what I want to do now is I'm going to start with the, the 12 promises he made to those who are devoted to his sacred heart, and then we will get into uh, the, the prayers themselves. So let us take a look now at the first Friday devotion. These are the 12 promises that our Lord made to St. Margaret Mary in favor of those who consecrate themselves to the Sacred Heart in a spirit of reparation 
the first Friday of each month. Number one, I will give them all the graces necessary in their state of life. Number two, I will establish peace in their homes. Number three, I will comfort them and all their afflictions. Number four, I will be their secure refuge during life and above all in death. Number five, I will bestow abundant blessings upon all their undertakings. Number six, sinners will find in my heart the source and infinite ocean of mercy. Number seven, lukewarm souls shall become fervent. Number eight, Fervent souls shall quickly mount to high perfection. Number nine, I will bless every place in which an image of my heart is exposed and honored. Number 10, I will give to priests the gift of touching the most hardened hearts. Number 11, those who shall promote this devotion shall have their names written in my heart. And number 12, I promise you in the excessive mercy of my heart that my all-powerful love will grant to all those who receive Holy Communion on the first Fridays in nine consecutive months the grace of final perseverance. They shall not die in my disgrace, nor without receiving their sacraments. My divine heart shall be their safe refuge in this last moment. So those are all very powerful powerful promises and I want to key in on number 11 where he says those who shall promote this devotion shall have their names written in my heart so this should give you a great incentive to promote this devotion in whichever way you feel most comfortable be it passing this video on or passing a link of the PDF and posting it on your own but please, I ask you to, to obviously take part in the devotion and pass it on, because that is our duty. And it's the least we can do for all that Christ has suffered and done for us. Now, let's get on to the first fight of devotion prayers. And these are recommended prayers. So we will start with the litany, litany of the Sacred Heart. Then we'll go to the act of reparation to the Sacred Heart. The memorare to the Sacred Heart of Jesus a prayer of adoration and love to the Sacred Heart, a prayer of adoration to the Blessed Sacrament, a prayer of trust in the Sacred Heart, and a prayer of consecration. So now let's go to the litany of the Sacred Heart. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Substantially united to the word of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, king and center of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of the divinity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills, have mercy on us. 
Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with opprobrium, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient to death, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim for our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like to thine. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your most beloved Son, and upon the praises and satisfaction which he offers you in the name of sinners. And to those who implore your mercy, in your great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who liveth and reigneth with, you, with thee for ever and ever. Amen. Act of Reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus O Jesus, Divine Savior, deign to cast a look of mercy upon your children, who assemble in the same spirit of faith, reparation, and love, and come to deplore their own infidelities and those of all poor sinners, their brethren. May we touch your divine heart by the unanimous and solemn promises we are about to make and obtain mercy for ourselves, for the world, and for all who are so unhappy as not to love you. We all promise that for the future, for the forgetfulness and ingratitude of men, we will console you, O Lord. For the way you are deserted in your holy tabernacle, we will console you, O Lord. For the crimes of sinners, we will console you, O Lord. For the hatred of the impious, we will console you, O Lord. For the blasphemies uttered against you, we will console you, O Lord. For the sacrileges that profane your sacrament of love, we will console you, O Lord. For the outrages against your divinity, we will console you, O Lord. For the injuries of which you are the adorable victim, we will console you, O Lord. For the coldness of the greater part of your children, we will console you, O Lord. For the contempt of your loving invitation, we will console you, O Lord. For the infidelity of those who call themselves your friends, we will console you, O Lord. For the abuse of your grace, we will console you, O Lord. For our own unfaithfulness, we will console you, O Lord. For the incomprehensible hardness of our hearts, we will console you, O Lord. For our long delay in loving you, we will console you, O Lord. For our tepidity in your holy service, we will console you, O Lord. For your bitter sadness at the loss of souls, we will console you, O Lord. For your long waiting at the door of our hearts, we will console you, O Lord. For the heartless scorn that grieves you, we will console you, O Lord. For your loving sighs, we will console you, O Lord. For your loving tears, we will console you, O Lord. For your loving imprisonment, we will console you, O Lord. For your loving death, we will console you, O Lord. Let us pray. O Jesus, divine Savior, from whose heart comes forth this bitter complaint, I looked for one that would comfort me, and I found none. Graciously accept the feeble consolation we offer you, and aid us so powerfully by your grace, that we may, 
for the time to come, shun more and more all that can displease you, and prove ourselves in everything and everywhere and forever, your most faithful and devoted servants. We ask it through your sacred heart, O Lord, who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, rule without end. Amen. Memorare to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Remember, O most kind Jesus, that none who have had recourse to your Sacred Heart, implored his assistance, or called for mercy, have ever been abandoned. Filled and animated by this same confidence, O Divine Heart, Ruler of all hearts, I fly to you, and oppressed beneath the weight of my sins, I prostrate myself before you. Despise not your unworthy child, but grant me, I pray, an entrance into your sacred heart. Sustain me in all my combats, and be with me now, and at all times, but especially in the hour of my death, O gracious Jesus, O amiable Jesus, O loving Jesus, Amen. Prayer of Adoration and Love to the Sacred Heart I adore Thee, I love Thee, I praise Thee, I cry to Thee for mercy, I return Thee thanks. I invoke Thee and confide myself entirely to Thee, O most holy and adorable heart of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who for the salvation of us all did submit Thyself to the rigors of divine justice, and didst voluntarily accept a birth accompanied with poverty, sorrow, and contempt a life of labor and contradictions, but of kindness for all, and a death full of opprobrium, confusion, and sorrow, and who, in fine, for the love of those who wish to be saved through that divine charity, does remain in the blessed sacrament of the altar to the end of time. Accomplish, O most adorable heart, thy wishes in my poor and miserable heart, which I dedicate and consecrate to thee forever. Grant that it may live in the sentiments of love and gratitude which it owes thee, that it may at all times breathe only thy honor and glory, in order that it may expire in the waters of perfect contrition. Amen. Prayer of Adoration to the Blessed Sacrament Jesus Christ, my Lord and my God, whom I believe to be really present in the Blessed Sacrament of the Altar, Receive this most profound act of adoration to supply for the desire I have to adore thee unceasingly, and in thanksgiving for the sentiments of love which thy sacred heart has for me in this sacrament. I cannot better acknowledge them than by offering thee all the acts of adoration, resignation, patience, and love which this same heart has made during its mortal life, and which it makes still, and which it shall make eternally in heaven in order that through it I may love thee, praise thee, and adore thee worthily, as much as it is possible for me. I unite myself to this divine offering, which thou dost make to thy divine Father, and I consecrate to thee my whole being, praying thee to destroy in me all sin, and not to permit that I should be separated from thee eternally. Amen. Prayer of Trust in the Sacred Heart in all my temptations, I place my trust in thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. In all my weaknesses, I place my trust in thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. In all my difficulties, I place my trust in thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. In all my trials, I place my trust in thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. In all my sorrows, I place my trust in thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. In all my work, I place my trust in thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus, in every failure I place my trust in Thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. In every discouragement I place my trust in Thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. In life and in death I place my trust in Thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. In time and in eternity I place my trust in Thee, O Sacred Heart of Jesus. Prayer of Consecration I, Christopher, Give myself to the Sacred Heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I consecrate to Him my person and my life, my actions, pains, and sufferings, so that henceforth I shall be unwilling to make use of any part of my being except for the honor, love, and glory of the Sacred Heart. 
My unchanging purpose is to be all His, and to do all things for the love of Him, while renouncing with all my heart whatever is displeasing to Him. I take you, O Sacred Heart, as the only object of my love, the guardian of my life, the assurance of my salvation, the remedy of my weakness and inconstancy, the atonement for all my faults, and the sure refuge at my death. O heart of love, I place all my trust in you, for I fear everything from my own wickedness and frailty, but I hope for all things from your goodness and bounty. Consume in me all that can displease you or resist your holy will. Let your pure love imprint you so deeply upon my heart that I shall never more be able to forget you or be separated from you. May I obtain from all your loving kindness the grace of having my name written in you. For I desire to place in you all my happiness and all my glory, living and dying in virtual bondage to you. Amen. And that ends the prayers of devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Uh, I do want to thank you all for joining me with this. I do have on the screen right now, um, this is a, 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 I guess, the cover of a video I, I created on the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the French Revolution. So for those of you who want more historical information on this devotion and the impact uh, it had on the French Revolution, because the consecration that our Lord asked for of France to his Sacred Heart was not done, and how it is similar to the, uh, the lack of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, that Our Lady of Fatima asked for, the, the, the parallels to it, I, I definitely suggest watching it. It's really a, a, a very powerful uh, video, uh, both historically and obviously theologically speaking. So again, I thank you all. Uh, please pass this on. Please keep me in your prayers. And may God have mercy on us all.